Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to talk about this topic. Hopefully I'll make it quick, but I'm going to be talking about the topic of giveaways, and mostly why I don't do them, because this is something that I can talk about for a bit, which I'm going to do right now. And a lot of people have asked me about this in the past, uh, in the present, and even in the future, I know for sure. So you know what? Now if anybody asks, why don't you do giveaways or you should do a giveaway, I can link them directly to this video. And if you have been linked to this video because of that, welcome to the video. Now let's get into it. Now, giveaways. They are a kind of controversial thing on YouTube, I want to say. I'm not going to be saying any names here, of course, uh, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to trace just due to the fact that unless I say like specific things, which I might on some of them, but you know, just for everyone involved, I'm not going to say names, but there are several big YouTubers that a lot of people believe they got where they are or a lot of other YouTubers where they've had a rapid succession of growth and people believe they got where they are because they did giveaways. Not really because of their content, not really because of their talent, not really because of search engine optimization more because of giveaways and most of these giveaways for example if i did a giveaway uh, i would say something like okay i'm going to be giving this away now what do you have to do to enter you have to drop a comment down below you have to subscribe to the channel and you have to go and like my facebook page my twitter and all that and then somehow verify all of that stuff and then you get drawn into the giveaway now this is <sighs> It's obviously padding your numbers for your Twitter, your Facebook, your YouTube. It's obviously padding it. But at the same time, that's really one of the few ways you could really track that, honestly. It's one of the few ways. So I can I completely understand both sides of it. Yes, it seems like a cheap tactic, but at the same time, it's kind of the best way to verify it almost. Well, one of the best ways. And it benefits you at the same time. Now, the benefit thing, that kind of comes into question. Because honestly, a lot of the people who subscribe right there... That was a terrible snap. There we go. They subscribe right there. Pretend I snapped at the appropriate time. They are probably not going to be long-term viewers. They're probably just going to be stragglers. And by that, I mean I subscribe for the giveaway... When the giveaway comes around, I'll see if I won or not. And even if I did win, more than likely, I'm probably not going to be watching your stuff anymore. And at that time, I will either stay subscribed to your channel and just not watch your videos, or I will unsubscribe from your channel. So it really depends on that. Now, I know a lot of people can say, yes, this is a good way of growing and all that. But I don't know. For me personally, even looking at it like this, like I'll make up some numbers here. If you could tell me I could make 100 subscribers, I could jump 100 subscribers in a week if I did a giveaway. Or if I didn't do the giveaway and I just regularly did my videos and did my normal stuff, I could get those 100 subscribers within two and a half weeks. Personally, I would choose the two and a half weeks. Do the fact that those people that subscribe, they are coming here on their own merit, on their own time. They saw something they liked. They liked it enough that they hit that subscribe button and that was about it. While as the first way to get a faster amount of growth, it's more, yes, you're going to get subscribers, but then what? Nothing's really going to happen after that. Because honestly, if somebody's finding you for your giveaways, they don't care about what your content is. They really don't. I mean, that's the truth to it. That's the complete truth of the matter. But another big thing with these giveaways is I, I have done one giveaway before, and I'll explain that. But another big thing with the giveaways is the ungratefulness of people. And this is more one of those instances where... It's more the actions of a few have really outweighed the actions of many, and it's not supposed to be representative of all that, but I digress. Just go ahead and listen to this. Now, uh, there's two friends I want to talk about. One of them, I remember, this is in like early-ish 2013. He was telling me, he's like, hey, you know, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway on the channel because he hit a pretty good milestone. He's like, I think I'm doing a giveaway on the channel. Uh, what would you rather have? Would you rather have Xbox Lifetime or would you have Microsoft Points? And I told him, you know, if I'm going to win something, I'd rather get Microsoft Points. So he bought like $100 worth of Microsoft points and put up the codes in a video, right? And he even said, you know, he's just like, hey, this is a little thank you. Uh, it's for the holidays and all that. You go ahead and get yourself a map pack. And uh, he, in, in each one, there was an asterisk where one of the characters was. So you had to guess which one it was. And he was just like, yeah, you know, so this is just my thank you from me to you. And if you want to put down below in the, de the description or in the comment section, which code you got, I think that'd be much appreciated for other people. Nobody, nobody who won the code said a damn thing. Pretty much there were only people that commented and said, oh, I got here too late, the codes are used. Nobody said anything, and even I tried one of the codes, like I tried cycling through all of it, 
I didn't get it. So when I saw it was completely used, I'm like, wow, like people can't even say thank you to that. It's a really simple thing. And those were like probably like $20, $25 co- uh, point cards, I want to say. So, I mean, still a decent amount of money right there to spend on one video. Uh, someone else I know, he actually gave away his last Xbox 360 here recently. Now, he was also into the 360 modding scene quite a bit. But he was, you know, doing kind of the same thing as me, you know, buying them, repairing them, all that stuff. And he had one last 360 that was his own personal one that he never got rid of. He modded the hell out of it, did a bunch of stuff with it. And it was an older Xenon 360. And he made some videos about it. He's like, yeah, you know, I'm doing this giveaway. This is my personal 360. I've done this and this and this to it. And it's a Xenon. I know it's the worst motherboard, but this is a really sentimental Xbox to me. So there were people who, like, he, he goes out and explains on a limb. Like, why this Xbox is so important to him from a personal perspective. And then there were people who were just like, they, they, it's like they completely glazed over that. And they're like, yeah, this, this is a really bad giveaway because you're expecting, you know, this big giveaway and you're giving out a shitty Xenon system. And he just replied to people. He's like, dude, it does, this, this system itself is priceless to me. It doesn't matter what motherboard it is. So it's even stuff like that too, whether it be something generic or whether it be something personal. Then the people that, you know, they ask for, I'll, I'll share my giveaway story on here. Last thing. So I've done one giveaway. Uh, Project Spark, when it was in beta, I ended up getting an email and they gave me a code for it. And then they said, hey, you know what? Invite all your friends to it. So they gave me four extra codes. And I was like, well, I don't know anybody that really would be interested in this. And nobody I really know at the time, nobody I really know had the Xbox One. So I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and test the waters because I'm not going to really lose anything here. So I made a video, you know, kind of as a thank you. And I was like, hey, here's the code. So I threw them up in the video. And I even said in there, same thing. I said, as a common courtesy, at least if you could say which code you used just to say, you know, just to help out other people who might be looking at this video later than you. Out of four codes, one person, one person said, I claimed this code. All the other codes were used. And then in that same video, I also explained if you get to my video too late and all the codes are used, how how you yourself can get codes. Then I had people who were commenting and asking, can you please give me a code? Can you please give me a code? And it's like, I don't have any more codes. I gave you all my codes and I told you all how to get them. So that's another big thing. Just the ungratefulness never stops on there. Then finally, I want to talk about, you know, the people that ask for giveaways on this channel. A lot of the people I've seen who come here asking for giveaways... They're young, they're more than likely new subscribers, and here's the big thing with these people. They, in their comments, like, I'll give you all an example, and it's not just, as I said, it's not just one person, so many people. And there was one person I put on blast kind of recently in the comments section, but almost all of these comments somehow imply, hey, you should do a giveaway of this, but you should really just give it to me. Or you should somehow sway the vote and rig it so that I'm going to win. Like, examples of this, let me think of some, like, off the top of my head. I'll just, like, make up some stuff. It's just like, hey, you should do a giveaway of one of your Xbox 360s. If you do decide to do a giveaway, here's my email address. So it's like, well, I'm going to be doing this giveaway for the entire channel, but you want me to email you specifically on this. Another one, for example, it's like, hey, you should do an Xbox 360 giveaway or you should do a PlayStation 3 giveaway to your subscribers. I've really been needing to start my channel here and winning a system would really help me out. So it's like, well, with that, you're you're kind of making it sound like, hey, you should give me an Xbox 360 or PS3 because I need something to start my channel. So you see, it's just, it's stuff like that where people are almost expecting it. And it's not just me. I've talked with other YouTubers who've done giveaways and they've said, they're just like, yeah, you know, we get those types of people. And another thing is you really can't make everyone happy because I've seen people com- be completely transparent. They show how to sign up for the giveaway. They show all the data. Like they, they show their screen cap. They show, you know, these people did this. This is how I'm going to put them into this name generator. This is how I'm going to select the person. And they do it all on camera. And people still get mad about it, despite it being as fair as possible. So what does that mean? That means that everyone is not going to be happy at once. And you're going to have your assholes in the group. So that's really exactly what it is. So As I said, it's one of those things, it's not like I'm never ever going to do a giveaway, but that's why I really don't do giveaways, because in short, I feel like it's kind of a cheap tactic to boost up your subscribers, 
to get low quality subscribers as opposed to high quality subscribers, a lot of people just feel really entitled is the main thing. And of course, you know, you have the assholes that, you know, no matter what, they're never going to be happy. So I'm just like, you know what? I'll just stick to doing my own thing here. And also, I'll put it like this. When people ask, you know, that's another big thing. If people ask, you know, for personal giveaways and all that, it's like, look, if I wanted to give this away, if I wanted to give it to someone, if I wanted to do a giveaway on the channel, I would have done it already. Like, really, I would have done it by now. But, you know, because of a lot of reasons like that, I just don't do it. The only other giveaways I might think of that I might ever do are, you know, if I'm feeling generous again, I get a, an abundance of codes like I did with a Project Spark giveaway. Or even now, honestly, it's looking more realistic as the channel grows and grows every single day. But, you know, let's say if a company I'm working with, they say, hey, you know what, we're giving you this product. We'd like you to do a video on it. But we think it'd be cool if you did a, give, a giveaway of like one or two of our products. You know, if we could somehow set that up to be fair and the company, you know, did all that stuff, I just pretty much, you know, relayed the information to them and said, hey, you know, these two people won the giveaway. Please send them these things. I think that would be more acceptable. So if it's something like what I'm trying to say, something like just official like that. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone.